variation there. One over the obvious distance is going to be for the first one, one over 20 centimeters. Now I can figure that out on my calculator and literally type that in 0 0.05 centimeters to the minus one, or I can enter a formula. Formulas, as you remember, always start with an equal sign. E in this case. Now, uh, what's the calculation that I want to do? It's going to be the reciprocal of the object distance. So I'm going to say 1 over all that I want to take the reciprocal of is this one right here, cell A2. Now, the easiest way to do that is simply click on the cell. 1 over A2 gives me 0 0.05. Okay, it did the calculation for me. Now, is that quicker than doing it on your calculator? I would say probably not, but this will be. If I click on this again and then drag it over from the bottom right-hand corner, then it's going to find not 1 over A2, but it automatically calculates 1 over B2. Now I want to highlight both of those, drag the entire thing down, and it's going to calculate 1 over the first column, 1 over the second column. All over. So there's my analysis table. It's done by entering one formula and then clicking and dragging a few things. Now you're going to want to tidy this up a little bit, okay? because right now this is a little bit messy with you know, two decimal places in some places and ten decimal places in other places. Okay. Tidy it up so that it's three or four decimal places. and click on linear, because that looks like a pretty good straight line. Okay, even more so now. Okay, even more obvious that it's a straight line. If we scroll down a little bit further, we don't want to show R squared. That's not what we want at all. What we want to do is, under the label, display the equation or use the equation. Okay, that's going to tell me that the slope of this graph is negative 1.005. What do we expect to get? Negative one, right? We got negative one point zero zero five. So that means there that we're within one half of one percent of what we expected. So this is really good data. Okay, if you're getting somewhere between zero point nine and one point one, you're probably in really good shape. Got it? Having said that, that's not the number you actually want, right? This is the number that you want, the y intercept, zero point zero six seven. You're gonna flip that over, that gives you the focal length. And then you're going to compare that, the inverse of the y-intercept, with the focal length that you measured in the beginning of this activity.